Hello, good evening, welcome one and all. Finally, I've managed to get through my networking and various other technical challenges. Um, and now you, the viewership, can play live against Stockfish. Uh, sorry for the delay on this one. It's There have been lots of technical and other challenges along the way, but now anybody can navigate to this website denoted in the URL or denoted in the stream title and give it a try. Um, this works just like Lee Chess, so um, yeah, you could pick out, do you want to play Horde, do you want to play Atomic, do you want to play 3-check or King of the Hill? And um, away we go. So if I wanted to play against level 1 AI, I could do that right here and now. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you here. Sorry if I'm a little bit tired. going to verify that my stream looks like it's live here. I assume so, given that I have a viewer. Uh, let me try refreshing my view here. And in the meantime, you know, let, let me make a move. Um, and so my thinking with this site is that I can test out to what degree various things work or fail. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so, like, this kind of thing's threatened, right? Um, now, bear in mind, I'm playing against level 1 AI and still kind of kicking my butt at Atomic. Um, but that's because I'm also kind of trying out some new moves and I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So, let's see, how do I continue development here? Where do I put my pieces so I don't lose them all? And yeah, I would have done this stream about six hours earlier, except um, this machine was in use, so I wasn't able to... Um, do the stream at that time. So. Okay, I just lost a pawn in that whole firefight. Um, I know he's. The computer needs to play Queen A5 if I start threatening mate. So, threatening mate's kind of off the agenda here. Um, Alright, this defeats Queen A5. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do... Okay. Um, I'm trying to go for mate. Stockfish is not making it easy on me. Alright, so I finally managed this. Let's see how well I played. And keep in mind that while I'm testing, it's possible for other people to go to the URL in the stream title and log in and play games too. Um, it's kind of the idea is that this shouldn't be a manual one person one game at a test one game at a time test sort of thing. Ideally, uh, you, I, and other people would be doing coding while you, I, and other people are also doing testing. That would be the ideal way to do this, and this configuration allows for that. Alright, so I made two mistakes, ignoring the egregious blunder that uh, that Queen A3, which has been taken back, and Stockfish made a blunder, which is C5, which I think ultimately cost the game, and I did pounce on that. Okay. It shows that I can learn things, right? 
Um, so yeah, uh, let's see, that's Lee Chess TV. I'm not sure why that's not found, but this is found. Um, yeah, let me take a closer look at to why I'm not seeing a Lee Chess TV. Now granted, I know from here there really aren't any games in progress, but, um, you know, if people were to log in and such, I would be able to see them, see those games in progress and see those people playing those games. Um, yeah, let me look at my log file indicating what errors have occurred. There's probably some explanation as to what's going on. So if I navigate to Leeches TV, I get a 404. Um, and nothing is logged by the application. Okay. But I think my routes file declares an action. Yeah, TV slash, I want to see TV slash stream, TV slash embed. Oh yeah, just TV. There's a controllers.tv.index. Well, first of all, let me check my uh, my Nginx reverse proxy server log. Um, maybe it's going to provide some clues as to what's going on. Okay. So like if I click on Leechus TV, I get this nice 404. Uh, okay. Connect failed, connection refused. Um And what's the issue here? Wait, do I see that same issue if I try that on this computer? Um. Yeah, so there's definitely a 404 message. Um. Interestingly, yeah, that doesn't result in anything getting logged. Oh, okay, we got a game over here. Um, let's see. There's got to be some way to make this work. Yeah, give me all the games. All the players. Okay. I mean, I see my name here, but that's not indicative of anything, because you can play anonymous games on here. Really, you can. Um, Alright, I guess I've got to type that in. <laughs> uh, okay, I can type that in. I am definitely capable of typing. I'm surprised that Leech TV doesn't show the game. Okay, so here's the game that was played um, by an anonymous player, which do we all know um, through that interaction in the chat window. 
He's saying that this is a tricky game, because, I mean, yeah, the AI is tricky. And, yeah, I know he's working with me, and we're working on some improvements to the Horde AI. And, um... A white is victorious, though, so that's a good sign for humanity. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that's level 8 AI. So I'm kind of curious. I mean, obviously white broke through and promoted, and black didn't fight especially well to prevent that. Um, let's find out, doing an analysis, where the AI blundered here and what we can do about it. Huh. Well, so here's the deal, is that last time I merged changes, it took me a few months to um, work through all the merge conflicts that happened when I tried to pull in upstream stockfish changes due to all these code formatting things. Like if you just look at the diff of the lines of code that were changed in that merge, um, you'll see that the diff shows that um, some lines of code were removed and then re-indented and added back. And that means that every time something upstream touches one of those lines of code, it's going to be removed and unindented back to the way that um, the official Stockfish Master repository did it. So that's like one issue that's problematic is that Potentially, if I accept this merge without um, re-indenting things myself, um, uh, just means that future upstream changes that they make to, say, their search algorithm to make it search faster or better in some ways, um, say, to their evaluation functions, to whatever they come up with upstream to... Um, based on their rigorous testing, may or may not merge properly. Um, so that's one little issue. Another is that um, I really like the fact that uh, all these changes were made. Um, uh, I just need to ensure that whatever changes we make are like the right formulation of an idea, so we're not um, heavily penalizing the search algorithm or heavily penalizing the evaluation function or something else in a way that's brittle to future stockfish changes. Um, and to that end, that I'm just saying, like, yeah, this is great. Obviously, what you came up with is a strong improvement to the AI. Um, I just need to figure out, is that the ultimate way that we want to do it, or is there a better way to implement that same idea? Yeah, the problem I was having earlier um, really was more of an issue of who the people that I was using this particular machine with and just not being able to agree on various um, configuration related things and ultimately after months of struggling trying to do things their way um, I did it my way and it worked um, let's see Oh, I see. So, yeah, you're saying that on Leeches you made a client that can, it's capable of um, using the newer engine. Um, yeah, I'm still giving some thought about what are the right ways to test or run this. 
one that occurred to me that was kind of interesting is taking some sample of these horde games um, using the Lee Chess puzzle generator to generate horde puzzles and then seeing uh, to what degree the engines are able to rapidly solve these puzzles. That'd be one thought. Another would be to run the engine versus engine and do matches and tests the way that is normally done for stockfish um, when they do their regression testing, but I'm not sure if that's an appropriate solution given how immature the original code is. Ouch. Ouch. Sorry to hear that's, um, uh, that the AI is not treating you well there. So, like, another way I could handle this is see, like, this is the evaluation graph. And so the obvious question is, um, if we take a look at positions like this, and Stockfish's evaluation that Rook H8 means that Black is still ahead by two and a half. And if I redo the same evaluation using the modified, um, or I guess we'll say improved version of the Horde AI, and I come up with different evaluation numbers, which of these seems more accurate to what's going on? Like, do we actually believe that this point in the graph here is actually favorable for Black? Uh, we have to do a little bit of tuning based on what do we believe is actually true and um, go from there I suppose. So um, I could bring up that pull request here. Oh, that automatically scrolled. I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The other thing that's complicating um, is that um, I should get this configuration under a little bit more control. Right now we've got two instances of the engine that are um, in the Leechus configured way, or configured way. Uh, this is just how Leechus analyzes games. There's an issue whereby one of the engines can discover before the other just how good or bad a position is. And this is kind of exemplified here in that like alternating move by move engines came up with different evaluations and this evaluation failed to pick out the fact that white's just better here unlike the other engine. So basically what I'm saying is that I need to cut down my configuration to just have a single instance of Stockfish installed here and rerun this analysis and see if it's sane. Um, and I should do that right now. Yeah, I have a hard time perceiving that this is better for black. And I bet that if you ran uh, the original Stockfish for long enough, it would probably also reach that same conclusion that it just believes that should believe that white's better here. And this is going back to my earlier point about like um, are there ways that we can evidence that there are there, there are problems to be solved. And yeah this stands pretty damning evidence that um, the AI unmodified or unimproved or what have you does have some issues. Because you and I would not agree that Black is winning this. Um, the most puzzling aspect of this is that I'm not seeing... Um, oh, is this the recommendation instead? No, this is a white player recommendation. Why is there no recommendation for what Black should have played? That's what puzzles me here. Unless that recommendation is knight takes e5, but in which case, I mean, 
Why does the evaluation for that differ so sharply than the evaluation for this? If they're both part of the same main line. I'm confused. Um, so yeah, let me change my configuration though, because it has... Currently I have two instances installed, and I should trim this down to just one. Um, yeah, so let's terminate that, and over here, take a look at our uh, configuration. Yeah, decrease instances from two to one and rerun it. And it'll take just a second to kick in. I'm a bit flustered at the moment that um, Leech STV um, isn't showing all the games. Like, I can see, I should be able to see games in progress. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I don't see that. Yeah, welcome back. I just um, changed my configuration so I have a single Leech Us uh, instance installed. Uh, I should actually try to remember how it is that I unanalyze games such that I can reanalyze them. Uh, there's a way in MongoDB to remove the game analysis so I can um, redo it. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I do that. Um, so I'm going to check my notes on this one. Yeah, that, that was kind of my opinion. I was asking in the IRC channel, like, is there a way with the Leechus instance um, to just set up an automated engine versus engine match here, such that there isn't a lot of manual effort involved? But I think I think you have a point too that, given that you have a way to run your modified AI um, you could target it at this server and just run some games I guess um, now ideally I'd like to watch these in the leech STV right uh, so I go to watch leech STV and this is what I get and I'm fi gonna look into what the heck's going on there because that was working earlier um, at least I think it was. So, um, so let me check my notes and see how is it that I managed to remove games. Okay. Apparently that folder didn't contain my script. Um, so maybe my script's elsewhere here. I will find it and we'll get this done. Um, oh, okay. I... okay. I mean, that the way I could send my version of the AI that I have running is through GitHub, but, um... But you're saying somehow that version breaks for you when you try to build it. Um... Yeah, GitHub is a finicky beast. Um... We can try to troubleshoot this, though. Uh, let's see. I mean... Uh, 
there's this URL, right? Uh, even if you can't get clone it, I could at least link you to this zip file. Let me give you the link for that. Uh, so the link for that is... Copy, paste, Um, I'm not sure how to better provide the source code to you than linking to you to it. Um, if there's some further challenge, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what web server I have installed here that I might somehow be able to make the source code accessible through the web server. But now I'm jumping through multiple hoops to make that happen because um, there's a reverse proxy server and a firewall in between. And that's kind of like why this static content is hosted on GitHub is so I don't have to uh, concern myself with trying to be a file server. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. Uh, there's an additional comment over there. Um, okay, I should read that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad to see that people are interested in testing that. Um, meanwhile, I, I'm definitely going to look into this uh, Wise Leech Us TV on my instance generating this content. Um, let me first start by looking at this. Like, is there anything obviously wrong here? No, this is just a standard 404 page. Uh, with a whole bunch of... Yeah. Um, it's on the same subdomain as everything else. And... Again, I still don't see anything logged here. That's the problem. Um, so I think things are passing... Th oh, I'm not sure. I was going to say, I think things are properly being directed to um, to the reverse proxy server and ultimately to the 404 page. Let me just take a look at how things are being forwarded through the reverse proxy server. Um, maybe there's something obviously incorrect about my configuration. Um, Yeah, let me check. There's this server underscore name attribute. Okay, there's assets, there's AI. Okay, location root just forwards to port 9663, just like everything else. Um, and how is it that I end up on the 404 page? Um, how is 404? Okay, 404 must be defined in the routes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so... Oh, yeah, the other thing is I was going to redo this analysis with just a single instance of an engine. Before I forget to do that, let me uh, get that done. 